So from my part, a wonderful good morning. The daily newspaper Junge Welt and the cultural magazine Melody und Rhythmus, who is on hold right now. Well, we are working on launching it again, uh, are published by the 8th of May, GmbH, a private limited company, which is a company born by a cooperative. As you may imagine, we have all our hands full to secure day in, day out the compilation of a well done daily newspaper with a Marxist orientation to and to secure it organizationally and economically. On top of that, we are heavily busy with the preparation of the 29th International Rosa Luxembourg Conference, to which we will invite you on Saturday, the 13th of January, in the Berliner Tempodrom, with 4,000 expected participants on site and about 20,000 participants uh, in front of the screens. So why do we take the extra effort to organize today's conference? This conference that is going to deal with the historic and uh, current uh, impact of fascist Ukrainian powers both in Ukraine and all around the world. Our focus will and will always be the compilation of a daily newspaper. Therefore, we would greatly prefer if we could reflect with our journalist means and resources anything that uh, bourgeois and leftist parties, organizations, foundations, or anti-fascist groups can bring together. For example, something like an event that we are staging today. However, this does not happen anywhere in Germany and, to the best of our knowledge, uh, nowhere else in the Western international countries, uh, which has uh, certain reasons to which we will come back in the course of today's event. But to be able to shed light on what's going on in the Ukraine war, both ourselves and the readers. We think information that we are going to provide to you today is absolutely necessary. Unmasking the function and the power of Bandera fascists are not only important for shedding light on the historic and current interactions in the war in Ukraine. No, they will also give an insight into the way in which fascism and institutional anti-communism are being used by the imperialist powers in a targeted way for the sake of their own interests, not least in, for the sake of oppressing leftist and anti-imperialist movements, especially as soon as they start gaining influence. So we have looked all around the globe. Who does research and publishes on today's topic? There are not many of them. To invite them to participate in this conference was an, not an easy task. Of course, there were those who, were, for reasons of time, could not come. Others, especially well-known bourgeois publishers and journalists, uh, were afraid of disadvantages for their professional career. Ukrainian researchers, uh, on the other side, uh, are afraid of serious consequences, both for themselves and their families, if they speak up on such a topic in public. These fears are well founded, and to bear this out, there is a notice from the Washington Post. The Washington Post communicates that Ukrainian secret services use killing squads not only against the Russian enemy, and not only in Ukraine itself. They also point out that those who are considered to be collaborators are being hunted down. We are all the more grateful that uh, today we have Ross Ballant and Moss Robeson, two U.S. American researchers and journalists, uh, who will give us insights into their research. A cordial welcome, Russ. A cordial welcome, Moss.
It is worth noting that uh, both uh, Russ and Moss have problems being perceived uh, with their work uh, by uh, the bourgeois media, although they describe with great precision and flesh it out uh, what's going on. Let me point out our interviews that we at Junge Welt have had with them. So, uh, this shows again how important such a newspaper is. What is ignored by others for political reasons? For us, as a progressive uh, uh, newspaper is uh, the bloodline. We present their findings to a larger audience. The larger our reach, the more we can shed light and when can provide information. The German Secret Service uh, calls us uh, the most uh, uh, influential, radical left uh, press uh, medium in Germany and uh, declares openly that they want to cut uh, off our lifelines. And I quote uh, literally, due to the influence of the Secret Service, uh, we are not allowed to do any advertising, paid advertising in various radio stations or in German stations or German trains. We are not allowed to do any advertising when it comes from the Junge Welt or from the 8th of May. Well, we could do so. We must not book any paid advertising. So there are so many other interferences um, which uh, unfortunately we are exposed to by the secret services. We are taking action in front of uh, the courts uh, against this unconstitutional interference. Um, and uh, we expect uh, by the end of this year a first uh, sentence. Uh, we are afraid that we will not have a success in the first instance, but we will take it to the higher courts and we will push it up to the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, an independent uh, journal, despite this uh, supposedly liberal and democratic uh, order, is being harassed by uh, the powers to be. Another reason why such events cannot be organized just like that are the enormous costs that come along with them. Just for the simultaneous interpretation and streaming technology, we have to pay more than 11,000 euros, uh, travel expenditure, room rent, advertising, and any other expenses. On top of that, financing is secured by the publishing house. A part is uh, covered by entrance fees, another one by uh, symbolic entrance tickets that you, dear viewers, uh, may acquire through a donation. This works uh, fairly well and helps us a great deal to cover our enormous cost. All the rest uh, is being paid by the advertising budget of the publisher. While other publishers uh, launch very expensive marketing campaigns, we prefer making available our means uh, for such events as this one. Our central economic size allows us to do so. The number of paid print and online subscriptions uh, for the daily newspaper Junge Welt. Therefore, we would cordially ask you to buy such a print or online subscriptions. It will be your advantage that uh, beyond today you will have reports, analysis and comments on this and so many other topics that you will not find anywhere else. Uh, and I give you my word. I may now provide some information about the cause of this event. There are some differences uh, compared to our Rosa Luxemburg conference. Most of you will know it. Uh, the speakers will be granted more time today. If uh, time allows, according to schedule, there will be more time allocated to question and answers. It depends also on how disciplined our speakers will be. Another difference is Rosa Luxemburg starts at 11 
and ends at 8 o'clock in the evening with no official break. Uh, it's a rotational system. While we today are going to take a lunch break from 1 o'clock to 1.45 and a coffee break from 15.15 to 15.45 in the afternoon towards uh, 17.15 or 5.15 in the afternoon, we will start our final point. And we are particularly pleased that despite everything, we are going to hear a Marxist voice with Oleg Yasinski. This event will terminate at 7 o'clock in the evening, and there will be extensive reporting in the daily newspaper Junge Welt. And this event is being streamed. It will be recorded. So you will be able to listen to it uh, on YouTube. The in, uh, exact agenda. When uh, will you hear which speaker? You can also pick it up from the Junge Welt newspaper, and you will find the exact schedule there. So. I can only thank you for your interest, also all those who are watching us live on the stream in various countries. My special thank you goes to all those who have lent a helping hand, those who provide food and good uh, technology, translate our words, and make these premises available to us. A very special thank you goes out to our colleague Susanne Wittstahl, editor-in-chief of the cultural magazine Melodie and Rhythmus and freelancer of the daily newspaper Junge Welt. This conference is, of course, a collective achievement, but it wouldn't have been possible to stage this event without her personal commitment. So, gratitude to all our helping hands, Suzanne and our guests. May I now hand over to Suzanne Wittstahl. She will brief us on the topic in general outline. A wonderful day, a very uh, thoughtful and insightful day to all of us.